live from Studio 18 in Jezreel. This is Box News. We report, we decide. Good morning, thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Michael Cuomo. We start today with breaking news. Elijah the Prophet has been spotted on Mount Carmel with a large crowd, including several prophets of both Baal and Asherah. We have a reporter at the scene. Let's send you to her now. Barbara, can you tell us what's happening out there? Well, Micah, the prophets of Baal are here right now at the request of King Ahab himself. Sources close to the king tell us that the king saw Elijah earlier today, the first time anyone had seen Elijah in over three years, and that Elijah requested the people all to gather here at Mount Carmel. He then issued this challenge. It has been three years since Elijah the prophet went into hiding. His last act before leaving was to predict a drought, one that we have been in ever since. I've been looking through my statistics from the past and you know we've never seen a drought quite this bad in fact uh, there's no water to be found anywhere and at this current rate I'm not sure how much longer we can survive. King Ahab is very serious about ending this drought he is trying to ensure the safety of all civilians we believe that the drought has something to do with the troublemaker of Israel Elijah we, so we have made a warrant for his arrest. If you have news on the whereabouts of Elijah, contact your local authorities. This nationwide search for Elijah ended today when Elijah appeared to King Ahab and told him to gather the people and the prophets at Mount Carmel. How long will you go between in anger and anger between our gods? There is only one God. If the Lord is God and he is our God, if Baal is God, then he is our God. I have a challenge for you. I'll take an axe and you'll take an axe. Which other one, whichever one brings the fire is the true God. And that is what's happening right now, Micah. The prophets of Baal have gathered their altar, they're all ready to go, and they're getting ready to call upon their gods. I'll be here all day giving you live reports. Back to you in the studio. I would now like to welcome in an expert on religion. What are your thoughts on Elijah's recent antics? I think it's incredibly inappropriate for Elijah to try to make people choose between their gods. They've been worshiping several gods for a long time. Like, think about it. They've been doing this for so long that it's just inappropriate for Elijah to come on the scene and tell them they have to make a choice. Is Elijah saying that he and his God are better than the prophets and their God? Absolutely. I think it's terrible. Just because Elijah's his God led the people out of, e out of Egypt many, many years ago, he thinks that his God is the only one worth worshiping. It's absolutely, utterly, Terribly inappropriate. Which God do you think is going to answer with fire? Does it really matter if the people want to serve a God that doesn't do anything? It's their choice. It's their choice. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be right back after this with the weather. Hey guys, it's me, more and more, and today I'm going to show you how to destroy a pineapple. But first, as we all know that, that faking the pineapple is a very big industry in the black market, we must make sure it's a real pineapple. The way you'll do this is by grabbing a simple wooden spoon. So like this and go. If it doesn't fall over, it's good. But we just want to make sure because the the fake pineapple industry has gotten better than this. <laughs> in the recent years, so make sure. We're good. Now, as you may see, I have various sorts of knives. And I want to start by telling you what knives you can use and what knives you can't use. This one's a no. Wanna say why? Because it doesn't cut through a pineapple. This one's a yes. Wanna tell you why? Because it cuts through. <laughs> this one it's a maybe. This one's like it doesn't have a very sharp blade, but I think it'll work. This one, it'll, this one's good. And now you may think, you're thinking, why well, you have a spoon? I'm like, well, I show you, you get to whack the pineapple. But now, make sure that these are in. It's like a hammer nail situation. And now that this is nice and in, go down. Now you use your more and more strength, which you, you start by grabbing the knife that you set here for later, find the little crease you made, and you pull. 
This may take a few tries, but once you get it, you got it. Now you're thinking, what do I do with the pineapple now? It's all destroyed. Well, you eat it. That. Is a good pineapple. Last step, you grab your spoon and see how I cut it here. There's a nice little spot here. And you know how everyone like all those DIY videos you go like, well, you see it's a wood spoon, so that's not gonna work. Just go with this end and just that is how you destroy a pineapple. Weather hasn't changed at all in the last uh, three years. Continue to be no clouds in the sky. As you can see, things are clear and dry and quite warm. We want to keep in mind also that there is a no burn order for Jezreel County and the surrounding counties for the foreseeable future. So please stay inside, stay cool, and stay, stay, stay safe. Now back to you. Thank you for the weathercast. Let's check back in with a reporter live on the scene at Mount Carmel. Well, Micah, the prophets of Baal have been calling on their God all day and nothing has happened. They've been asking him to send fire, not a response at all. Just a little bit ago, Elijah came out and had some choice words for the prophets. Oh, uh, louder guys, maybe he's on a trip. Maybe he's in the bathroom. Elijah's latest words have stirred up the prophets even more. They're now out here cutting themselves and screaming even louder. But Baal still is not even paying the least bit of attention. What do you think of this latest development? I think it is incredibly inappropriate with Elijah making these back talk comments, these offside comments, these terrible comments, help me interrupting their focus. Just because they've been out here for hours doesn't mean they're not going to make it happen. They just need to focus. These off-handed comments, these terrible back talk, it's making it very difficult for the focus. Personally, I think Elijah should be disqualified for this entire competition. So is this going to give Elijah an unfair advantage? Absolutely, I think it's entirely unfair. There's one of him in only, only 400 of the prophets. It's entirely unfair. I hate to cut you off, but we have a new development at the scene. Let's send you down there now. It's almost evening now, and the prophets of Baal have been at it all day, yet nothing has happened. It's now Elijah's turn, he's taken over, and you won't believe, Mike, you won't believe what he's doing. He's getting water. They're putting water all over the altar and into the trenches. It's just overflowing with water on the altar now at Elijah's site. I'm sorry, did you say he's pouring water everywhere? That's right, the altar looks like a lake, there's so much water. Tell me, what do you think of this strategy? I find it incredibly offensive that Elijah has decided to waste water. In this this drought, who does he think he is? Those could those could help the children. Think of the children. Barbara, what's happening now? Well, it appears Elijah is praying. He's yes, yes, he's asking his God to answer him. And it seems we have lost connection with Mount Carmel. We're gonna have to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Pounds? Do you like caramel? Do you like fire? Do you like profits? Then you'll love the new Mount Carmel and the Fiery Prophets set. Join Elijah in his this desperate trip to, to teach the gospel to everyone he meets. To and now you can do it bed. with Sea Salt Caramel as well. I Buy Sea Salt Caramel and here. the Mount Carmel oh, set, oh, each sold separately. Studio 18A, we have been unable to reconnect with Mount Carmel, so we're going to do the weather once again. Friends, I know I sound like a broken record because, again, uh, no change in the forecast for three years. Uh, once again, dry, no clouds in the sky. Once again, try to stay cool. Try to. Oh, what is that? There's actually a little cloud up in the sky. In fact, if, if you look close, it appears as if it's getting a little bit bigger. 
and it's approaching our way. In fact, I think there might even be some precipitation in this cloud. Friends, if I'm you, I want to get inside. I want to get stay, make sure that I stay dry because we could have quite a soaking on our hands here in the upcoming hours. Now back to you. I'm going to send you down right now to the king's palace where I am told there's a special message from the queen. Today at about 7 p.m., a large fire fell from the sky over Mount Carmel, consuming the ox and the altar of Elijah the prophet, and licking up all the water surrounding it. Shortly after, Elijah the prophet had all the prophets of Baal executed. This does not please the king and queen. Queen Jezebel wants to get revenge on Elijah by making his life end like the way the prophets of Baal's lives end. Any questions? What about the fact that it's raining now after three and a half years of drought? Yes, it is raining. Yes, the rain started after Elijah showed up. And yes, the fire fell from the sky. Does this change the way we feel about Elijah? No! As we, we wrap up our reporting from here in the studio, before we leave, do you have any final words for us? Today proved that Elijah's guide is truly powerful. He can send rain and fire. But can he ignore you like Bar Baal ignores you? Like, think about it. God, Elijah's is God. He answers. He cares. But Baal's God, he ignores you. Can you say that about Elijah's is God? I don't think so. That's correct. Thank you for joining us today on Box News. We report. We decide.